Hi and welcome to another 5 minute session and this time I will show you how the radial works and how you convert from Cartesian to polar coordinates. So as a reminder I just get through something that I showed a while ago where we use the texture and the gradient texture and if I use the object here and then you see I have radial here we got this result. I didn't explain that on the last five minutes when it comes to the gradient, so I will do it here. This is what you call polar coordinate calculation, and we can take a look at polar coordinate and Cartesian so you know what I'm talking about. So if you look at this page here, it's a good page, it describes how it works. Then we have Cartesian coordinates. Cartesian coordinates are like when you're in the 2D plane, explains that this little point here is x amounts in that direction and y amounts in this direction. So in this case, it's 12x and y5, and then you get this point here. That is how you explain using Cartesian coordinates where you have a point. With polar coordinates, you instead use an angle and a length. So you can say that this length of the line is 13 with angle of 22.6 and then you have this coordinate they are or this point they are on the same uh, point or same uh, place it's just two different ways to do it so let's go back to blender and now we should change this into this Cartesian and that is what we are doing with the gradient texture and if we use math it would look like this so i separate the object into an xyz and then i use a tangent so i press shift a go to converter and use the math here and here you can see we have trigger metric and here we have arc tan 2 and that is what we should use then we take the x to the bottom and the y to the top and this is what transform everything so now we just need to do some math because you can see if i just take this value to the surface that it's like black here and white here and here it's going from one to zero here so we need to do that as well and that we do by dividing with 2p or 2 pi so um, I just use shift A converter and the math again and I divide like this and I can use this little uh, sign here because that is a driver in Blender and just write pi uh, multiplied by 2 and then I get the value here and now it seems almost correct here but we also need to add something so I add 0 0.5 and now if I compare these two, they are exactly the same. So this is the math be behind radial. This is how you calculate from X and Y coordinates into an angle here. So you have done everything in radian. So then you have from zero to one here. So what should you do with this? Well, every time you do something that is more or less round like flowers or cogs or the sun or the clock then this is really good to use and I can do a very quick example so if we can we can take away all this and then just use a length so converter vector math and I put that in here and I use a length and I take this and I just subtract that with the length like this and then you can see that now we get something that is round. We also add a multiply here. Let's say that we add 5 for instance. And then we use a fraction or in this case we can use the ping pong of 0 0.5 or something like that. Then you see we get these flowers here. And then you can play with that and do a lot of stuff. So you can put in a compare or whatever. So I press shift A converter uh, math again and you can see it grows so it shrinks you can do a lot of stuff you can use the power if you want to like this to make it more round or 
whatever you can do with that here will be a better result. So you can see here it gets more round and so on. Or you can use the compare, as I said, to make a black and white thing. So let's see if I can find that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Compare. Where do we have it? That one. And then I just take this down and I can take this like a small thing and go up and you can get something like this. And then you can change the amount of leaves, like six or eight or whatever, to make this. So this is just a, a quick example. And the five minutes has now gone. And now you have seen uh, what's behind the gradient, radial, how you calculate it and how to use length to uh, put everything together. So uh, that was about radial, Cartesian, parallel, and see you tomorrow.